Good day, I'm Theodore Henry, and this is your GIS News for Friday, August 25, 2023. The Ministry of Education's regional offices are at an advanced stage of preparing appointment letters for the new postcodes created for the education sector. Portfolio Minister Favor Williams made the announcement in an address to delegates attending the Jamaica Teachers Association, JTA's 59th annual conference on Wednesday. We're not just promising you that it's going to be done. We're actually preparing the letters to send out to you. And this is expected to be completed by August 31. It had previously been announced that the Education Ministry had received 5,377 established posts from the Ministry of Finance and the Public Service. This includes academic and non-academic posts. 3,413 academic and 1,964 non-academic such as plan managers, assistants, administrators, cooks, guidance counselors, caregivers, secretaries, deans of discipline, etc. The creation of these post codes is to regularize the positions of persons who have been teaching or working in the education system for many years without security of tenure. The National Works Agency, NWA, is to begin repair works on two well-traversed roadways in Trelawney. $19 million is being spent to carry out repairs on the Wakefield to Friendship Road between Wakefield Square and the Wakefield Seventh-day Adventist Church. Community Relations Officer at the NWA's Western Office, Janelle Ricketts, says the project is expected to be completed within six weeks' time. It is being done by OW Construction. The project involves drain cleaning, bushing, rehabilitative works, in terms of reshaping and asphalting the road surface, uh, concrete works, raising of manholes, as well as the installation of a culvert, catch basin, and bead drains. The other roadway to receive attention in short order is Clarkstown to Kinloss. OW Construction is also executing that work on 400 meters of road at a cost of $19.8 million. It should be completed within six weeks once the work has started. The scope of work is hot mix patching and repair as well as drain cleaning. We'll also be constructing a V-drain, a cross drain, um, a random rubber wall as well as head walls. Both projects are being undertaken as part of the NWA's thrust to repair scored and damaged roadways island-wide. A section of Eastwood Park Road in Kingston will be closed this weekend for pavement repairs. The closure will affect the section of Eastwood Park Road between the intersections of Burlington Avenue and Red Hills Road. Commuters will not be able to access this stretch commencing at midnight on Friday, August 25, until 5 p.m. on Saturday, August 26. The National Works Agency says the stretch of roadway will be milled to remove the damaged surface and repaved with asphaltic concrete. During the period of closure, motorists are advised to use alternative routes to access their destinations. Motorists are also being urged to exercise caution during the period of closure and to obey the instructions of posted warning signs. The Ministry of Justice's Victim Services Division is encouraging men who have been victims of crime to access its free counseling services. Director of the division, Dion Don Bins, made the plea as she addressed a recent JIS think tank session. While indicating that 70% of the division's clientele in the last fiscal year were female, she appealed to men to reach out for support. We know that men are often victimized as well, and so we want to encourage persons to encourage men who they may know or boys who they may know who have been victimized to reach out. Mrs. Binns stressed that it was important for persons to get help after a traumatic experience. A lot of incidents come out of domestic situations. So seek the services of restorative justice so that, you know, um, relationships can be repaired, harm can be healed, that sort of thing, and also seek the services of victim services so we can treat with the trauma that you experience. 
The Victim Services Division provides emotional and counseling support as well as crisis intervention during the investigation of a crime. Officers in the division provide support to the primary and secondary victims of a crime, along with others who may be impacted. Members of the public can contact 888-JUSTICE, that's 888-587-8423, or visit the Justice Ministry's website at moj.gov.jm for help. Government will be offering support to national netball athlete Latanya Wilson, whose home was destroyed by fire on Thursday. The Sunshine Girls defender and her family are among several people whose homes were destroyed by an early morning blaze on Rum Lane and Rosemary Lane in downtown Kingston. Minister of Sport Olivia Grain says her ministry, alongside Netball Jamaica, are leading the charge to assist. I'm in Budapest where I'm right now attending the World Championships. But I'm making contacts back home in Jamaica to get immediate assistance for Latanya and her family. Wilson was among the Sunshine Girls team that secured bronze for Jamaica at the Vitality Netball World Cup in South Africa recently. It is particularly painful that Latanya who was a member of the bronze medal Jamaica team at the recent Netball World Cup tournament in South Africa should suffer this devastating loss. 22-year-old Wilson, who applies her trade at the Netball League in Australia, is currently on the island on break. And finally, Jamaica shot to third on the medal table of the World Athletics Championships yesterday as the national athletes secured five medals in less than two hours. Daniel Williams and Antonio Watson led Jamaica's five-medal haul on day six of the competition in Budapest. Williams stunned the crowd by all odds, winning the women's 100 meters hurdles final at a season's best of 12.43 seconds. Watson doubled down, taking the men's 400 meters title in 44.22 seconds to win the country's first world championship gold at this distance in 40 years. The impressive performances continued with Wayne Pinnock's silver medal in the men's long jump, joined by 2019 world champion Tajay Gale, who secured bronze with a season's best of 8.27 meters. Rochel Clayton copped bronze in the women's 400 meters hurdles, running a lifetime best of 52.81 seconds. Prime Minister Andrew Holness commended the athletes for their stellar performances. His sentiments were echoed by Sports Minister Olivia Grange, who is currently in Budapest, Hungary, giving support to the team. I just feel so good that athletes have been performing well. And it's not only about winning medals, because they've all done very well. Personal best, national record. I mean, it is just unbelievable. We have a generation of athletes at this time. Some very young and they're doing so well. So you can imagine, the future looks great. And that's it for GIS News Today. I'm Theodore Henry. Thanks for watching.